Hey Tor, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another devotional here. As you guys know, my name is Sergio, welcome back. And to those new guys coming in, welcome, welcome, glad to have you in. So, let's just hop into a quick moment of prayer before we get started. Lord, thank you for allowing us to just tune in here today, Lord, and thank you for just giving us another day of life so we can be here with you, so we can worship you, so we can receive your word. In your name I pray, amen. All right, so, welcome back guys. And the message I want to talk about today is something that's really close to me, which is worship. As most of you guys know, I am on the worship team. I am a bass player. I've been playing for a few years now, and you know, it's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy it, especially in worship. There's all kinds of worship that you can do. It's not just how to be music. You can be praying, you can be serving, uh, fasting, giving, giving in terms of offering, just things like that, donating to the church. That way you can uh, continue to grow your faith. You can feel closer to God. But the worship I want to talk about specifically is the music. And the first verse I want to start off with is Luke 4, uh, verse 8, which says, Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. So, it's easy to worship a lot of other things, such as money, your job, what you have, all the material things. It's easy to worship that because you have it with you. You, you can see it physically right there in front of you. You can be like, oh, this is the best thing I have. You can worship uh, maybe a brand new car. Uh, you can probably worship, you know, some new clothes, some, some jewelry that you might have, anything. You can even worship your own money. You can say, I have all this money and I don't know how to spend it. I have all these things and I'm going to use them however I want. You're going to idolize those, but you shouldn't. The only thing you should be idolizing and worshiping is God, our Lord, because all the material things, yes, they're nice, but they're not going to come with you to heaven. They're not going to come with you once, you know, we're out of here. So it's always good to just have those, but don't worship them. Like, yes, you can have a car to get you to places, but that doesn't mean you have to worship and be like, this is my car, I'm going to show it off, I'm going to take it around just for a spin, because gas is expensive. So I wouldn't recommend trying that, but again, it's always good to have it, just don't idolize it, don't put it above anything else, because it's not that worth that much. Another verse you wanna, I, I want to speak on is Psalm 100 verse 2. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. So there's a lot of songs you can use to worship. Some old school songs and some new school songs. And they're all, you know, a lot of fun to worship with. Some of them are slower so you can, you know, close your eyes and feel the presence. Or some of them are faster paced so you can jump around and have fun. I understand that most people don't like the old school songs because they're, again, old and they're slower. But you can always listen to new bands that are out there. Personal favorites are Hillsong United and Young and Free. Those two amazing worship bands. A lot of fun songs. Um, for the youth, we've done a lot of from those two specifically. If you guys don't like the whole band thing, you guys are more into the hip hop and kind of rap scene, there's plenty of worship songs for them too. Some artists being uh, Lecrae, Andeminio, and Iso Fluent. I was actually just released an album too, uh, called Motives. And you can always listen, go to those so you can have that type of music in your kind of style that you might appreciate more. But everyone has their own certain taste. You can always ask, what does worship mean? What it means is that how you feel closer to God, how you can praise Him for things He's done for you. Let's say you go in for a job interview and you get it. You can praise God, you can worship Him. You can, in your house, here at church, or on your own, you start playing some music, start praying, donate, give to the church, saying thanks to God so you can worship Him, so you can see just how great He is because He helped you get that job. Or anything else. If He helped you get that car, give Him worship because He helped you. He guided you the way so you can get to that uh, position so you can afford one. There's always something and you can always choose to either let it get to you or not. If something is getting to you and it's getting you down, you start to worship so you can see God will come to you. You can go to God, you can just pray to Him, ask Him for help, and then you can just start worshiping Him and see the joy, feel His joy He gives you in your heart and in your soul. That way you can feel closer to Him. You can worship Him, you can put a slow song so you can feel the presence, His presence in you. Or you can put a fast song so you can just dance around and be happy with Him. It's always fun to worship, it really is. Uh, it might be at first nerve-wracking to you know, put your hands up and worship or just clap along. 
but just worship is between you and God, not you, the person next to you, the person in front, the person behind, the family in the corner, and it's not, it doesn't involve them. It's just between you and God on your own. So all it really takes is just a quick prayer and then just start worshiping. A lot of worship starts with a prayer so you can feel closer to God, then you get into it. And that's where the fun starts because with that, just hearing the beat, hearing the melody, hearing the lyrics, it's all for God. It's always to give Him worship. It's always to give Him glory. So you can always just choose what you like, whether it be the slow, the fast, or the, the hip-hop. It's always just getting closer to God to give Him His glory. And you got to choose, how do you worship? How? Listening to music or donating? Giving? I prefer playing. I like to play my instrument, whether it be bass or cajon, any of those things. They ask me to, uh, can you come in and play this Sunday, this Friday? And I'll say yes. I'll go, I'll learn the songs I need to learn, and I'll be on stage to help guide others to the worship. That's what being on the worship team is, to help others feel closer to God in His presence through the worship. And another thing why I'll tell my leader, helping you guys here, so I can help guide you guys closer to God. That way when the time comes, you guys are ready. So really just, how do you worship? And how can you better your worship if you need to? So let's just end off with a quick prayer. Lord, thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for allowing us to receive your word. Just thank you. We just give you the thanks that you deserve, Lord. And help us just feel better and feel closer to you through anything we may do for you to give you glory through our worship, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys.